वेलकम टू यू यूवर सी कैसे पी एच डी यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियोज एंड टू गेट दिम मोर नॉलेज एन एस ए पी एच डी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एक्सचेंज रेट टाइप्स वर द पर्पज ऑफ एक्सचेंज रेट टाइप्स हाउ इट वर्क इन एस ए पी वील सी नाउ ओके सो वेन वी आर गोइंग टू यूज एक्सचेंज रेट टाइप्स वेन एवर वी आर डूइंग एक्सपोर्ट सेल ओके वी आर गोइंग टू यूज एक्सचेंज रेट टाइप बिकॉज ऑफ द करेंसी हेज टू कन्वर्ट ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल कस्टमर ई मीन कस्टमर इज देर इन यू एस कंपनी एंड प्लांट इज देर इन इंडिया सो वेन एवर यू एस कस्टमर प्लेस दि आर्डर ओके द करेंसी हेज टू बी कन्वर्ट इंडियन रूपीज टू यू एस डालर ओके हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू कन्वर्ट सो वी आर एंट्रिंग अमौंट इन अवर करेंसी ओनली बट बैक एंड कन्वर्ट इट विल शो इन टू दि यू एस डालर सो हाउ इट इज कन्वर्टिंग बैक एंड बेस ऑन द एक्सचेंज रेट टाइप्स ओके बेस ऑन द एक्सचेंज रेट हाउ इट वर्क वील सी नाउ ओके फर्स्ट वील क्रिएट ओन आर्डर वील सी हाउ exchange rate type is coming now okay now we will creating one order so this is my us customer so this is my us customer okay us my customer earn currency also usd okay currency also is there usd now i'm going to header if you see exchange rate here usd so on today 84 rupees the 84 rupees is there okay if i change the date here on 10th 83 rupees is there. based on the pricing date the exchange rate type will be changed not based on the document date okay in sales order level the exchange rate type will come based on the pricing date okay exchange rate type come based on the pricing date okay based on the pricing rate exchange rate will change okay now if you see 84 rupees came right you can see the document uh, pricing here so we enter our currency we enter amount in our currency so it is converted it is converted back end and it is showing here the us dollar okay so you can see 84 into uh, 84 by 1500 you can see it will come around you can you can do calculation from your end okay whether the conversion is correct or not 1500 by 84 you can see 17.85 something came right go to item level schedule line sorry a condition tab okay so we'll try to do that so total 80 Eighteen point, eighteen point zero seven dollar into eighty four. So what is the exchange rate type currently here? Go to sales. So sorry, eighty three. Okay, sorry, eighty three rupees. Then it will come fifteen hundred because of we change the date, right? So if it is nineteen eighty four, it will come. Okay, if it is nineteen eighty four, it will come. And uh, the exchange rate, uh, the amount also will change here. Previously eighteen dollars, now it is seventeen dollars. Okay, based on the exchange rate amount, the it will convert. Okay, now we'll do delivery and invoice. Invoice level also the exchange rate exchange rate will come based on the billing date. Okay, based on the billing date, it will not copy the sales order exchange rate. Okay, we'll see now. Now I'm creating invoice. Go to header. So what is the today's date? Nineteen. So exchange rate eighty four. Now I'm changing to ten. What is the exchange rate? Eighty three. Okay. In sales order level, eighty four is there. Now eighty three is there. If I save this, it will save with eighty four. So some incompletion is there. Go to VF zero two for exchange. We need to maintain foreign uh, foreign data. Okay, foreign trade. So more or transport destination and office. So now it's green color set. Green color save. Okay, so. It will not come based on the. It will not come based on the sales order. Ah, uh, sales order exchange rate. Okay, based on the billing document date. So eighty four rupees in sales order level. So it shouldn't copy eighty four. Whatever based on the billing document date, the exchange rate type. So I mean exchange rate amount will be changed. Okay. Now you can see it is posted to accounting. Okay. Now how it is how it is coming from where it is taking. Okay, we'll see now. If we go to the T code OB zero eight, the T code is OB zero eight. Here, 
this, this is taking care by the fi they will maintain the exchange rate types each and every day exchange rate amount they will maintain each and every day based on the exchange rate types each and every country they will create a separate exchange rate type for against that they are going to maintain that but if they if they are not maintain if they are not created any exchange rate type and if they are not maintain any exchange rate type in custom master table system treating a standard one as a m okay system consider standard one if they if you not maintain anything in custom master table system will consider standard so inr usd to inr what is the amount here 84 rupees is it that's the reason coming so up to from 8 19th onwards 84 up to 18th 10 to 18th 83 rupees is there so here i'm going to change it to 85 below i'm going to change it to 82 okay now we'll see so now i'm saving this so exchange rate here we in this ticket we are going to maintain ob08 okay ob08 go to the customer master xt02 so here sales rate tab here we are going to maintain this is the currency us uh, this is the us us customer okay customer currency we need to maintain so order level will come customer currency so this is exchange rate type if you know if you maintain m okay if you not maintain m system will consider as a m okay or else if you created your own exchange rate type that we are going to assign here this be a file take it so based on that we have to assign here okay so if you maintain m if you not maintain m system will treating as a m okay now save it now we will create order again now we will create order again so now we change the exchange rate right in ob08 we maintain something right we will see whether which one the system will take whether it will take 85 or 84 so previously 84 came right now we will see 85 now it is 85 as manually also we can change here okay manually also we can change here okay manually also we can change here now go to partner is this in completion log so now 86 okay now i maintain 86 so you so you order level you maintain 86 so same it has to be copy to invoice me it won't copy okay it won't copy standard it is not possible it is not a correct way because of exchange rate uh, exchange rate it will be different for each and every day okay so uh, maybe you order is created two months back one month back 10 days back maybe today is different to so 10 days back currency is different today's currency is different if based on the client if client wants the same means okay we can do enhancement we can do enhancement we can we can bring the same as a order order exchange rate okay no if they want based on billing document date it has to update but it is standard work okay cuz in standard is not possible okay now we are creating invoice we have 01 go to header now what is the rate 85 order level 86 there but it is not copying 86 it is it is 85 only okay standard if you want automatic it has to come uh, as it is whatever we maintain sales order level it is not possible okay now i am going to save this okay is save so you want to see everything in one table the data currently whatever they maintain this is a tico this is a table t c u r r okay here if you execute the your exchange rate type you will get the all currency based on your exchange rate type okay exchange rate type you will get the all the currencies so like that we can maintain so we can maintain manually also we can change that exchange rate in sales order okay manually also we can change that so maybe by mistake it was the uh, something they made it wrong now we need to change it that, that we can change the currency also we can change so now i want to change aud so if you know if, if if there is no if currency exchange rate is not maintained okay so it will not work out okay if you want to try see here i maintain right it is coming now what i will do i will go to slash and ob08 now i am going to ob08 i will delete that exchange rate we will see whether it will work out or not so there is no exchange rate here okay there is no exchange rate here it will not work there is no exchange rate here it will, it will not work i am going to delete 82 came right so i am going to deleting this save it we will create on order again okay if there is no exchange rate in ob08 ob08 okay 
the scenario you, you, you can't create the sale order it will not assess not allow to create the sales order okay so now i'm changing to aud aud see what the error here exchange rate aud nr not maintained on this day on this day there is no exchange rate you will get this kind of error okay that's the reason definitely we need to maintain exchange rate whenever you are doing export sale okay export sale this is the exchange rate types once again thank you all for watching the videos next class i'm going to cover uh, vo8 control sales document controls i have not explained in previous class so next class i'm going to explain uh, sales order types controls sales document type controls okay thank you all